And we are back with more action and uh, we are now about to watch uh, uh, two great teams, honestly, like Kasutika is uh, Terra uh, making a pickup with uh, Japanese players. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Moonlight, we've seen before, we've seen them absolutely uh, destroy uh, and uh, be uh, so, so dominant. So these are two, two great teams and we are going to go to Mahi Mahi Resort. Hello, AP. We, we've seen this map already. That we have. Yes. Uh, and we, what can we expect? Well, we can expect for it to be a very, very squimsh. Um, mm -hmm. we, we've, we've been in getting, I like, I think Wahoo was really the only big map that we had. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, going back to Mahi, I think, I think, isn't this where we even started? The, the stream yep. here on Mahi. That was the first map of the tournament. And speaking of like advancing and getting bigger, this is now best of five. So a bit less uh, randomness. Uh, you have more chances to get uh, maps you like and more chances to get maps you don't like. But we, whether you like it or not, we are going to buy it. Yeah. I don't think Mahi is a bad clams map, honestly. I. It's it's just Mahi is a very controversial it's, map for all the reasons Mahi is controversial. I think it's more brutal than it is bad. Like the yeah. maps, like the map being so small, so open like that means like pretty like some weapons with extra range have like so much of an advantage. You have nowhere to hide on this map, and that means a lot of play size will not work. And Kasuteka already opening with a bang, already getting like halfway through the points they need to get a K2. And uh, yeah. when I said Kasuteka, that's actually not Kasuteka, that's Moonlight. Moonlight is in yellow. And Moonlight got a very, very good opening. But uh, Kasuteka <laughs> with, uh, with the Injet, they are managing to. Uh, Hey, well, Moonlight doesn't care. Moonlight wants more. Mo Moonlight just getting in with the crack and cheese. Ooh. And oh, getting some picks and setting stopping. things back. That Moonlight. would keep the water level going. Yeah, at 40 points away from a KO and uh, Moonlight not caring. Kasteka opening with a crack and their answer with a crack and a bone, and they have two baby clans. So they can, like, just get the super jump in. Mm. They get punished so hard. And they they managed to sixty, but yeah, not quite enough. That that push from uh, Moonlight just oof. Yeah, so now the, they've the got guys. two power clams and uh, a third very close. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, Toshi, the colors are swapped. Uh, Kasuteka is uh, in uh, blue and Moonlight is in yellow and Moonlight is uh, in us a show oh. right now. Oh. Never mind! Uh, going down Terra. to the Trizuka. Yeah, Terra getting a double with the single Zuka shot. <laughs> oh, we got some clam there. juggling. Yeah, I I'm not sure you don't even want to juggle these clams. Right no. now, you can maybe get that, keep that move. But Kasuteka, yes. Ah! Getting the picks after picks after picks and just a few more clubs. Oh, keeping it open! It open. <laughs> and they get the lead! The basket was closing oh. and now the lead is going Kasuteka's way. Oh, Moonlight surely felt that they were safe at that moment and then just... Yeah. And oh, it's really that's... like the curse of having like all these super clans is that everybody on your team, you, you know where they are and like... Exactly. Oh, oh, but okay. Never oh, mind. but they were able okay, to just force them plan. all in at once. Okay, okay, <laughs> fine. I'm not saying you did a mistake. I was wrong. Moonlight takes game one with a KO. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I was like, I was about to say, well, they're coming up here with a push, but before I could say anything, they got it. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, that is game one for Moonlight. And Moonlight had a very, very, very good game. I mean, Casteca had one crazy good push, but the rest of the game was Moonlight. And mm -hmm. uh, that's really like what uh, Moonlight showed us. It was like that overall control of the map, whereas Casteca was more on the one explosive push that they got. And like these two strategies, they're both good. Like they both can do things, and I'm I'm sure that Moonlight can give us like a push as good if they want to. We, I'm sure Casteca can like maintain control if they want to. It's all going to be what choice they decide to make for each map, and mm -hmm. uh, how how they adapt to the map and to the opponent. But Casteca right now, they have to do more. They have to adapt more because Moonlight won that first game, and. Uh, I mean, it's best of five. So this is counter picks, yes. I don't think it's counter picks. Uh, okay. Uh, I was thinking it was counter picks as soon as we went to best of five, but I'm not sure. I think it's still. Uh, I, I think it's still uh, random, and it will okay. be counter pick for for the finals. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Our, our tears will uh, probably tell us at some point, but I, I think it's wrapped up. Oh, no, it is counterpicks now. Oh, we are in counterpick. Okay. So, so we very are... good for Kasuteka. Yeah, Kasuteka now is going to uh, decide the, the next map mode. And, uh, uh, I think like Japanese players overall are, are not that used to uh, to uh, having to counter pick, but Terra uh, knows exactly how it works, so that shouldn't be a problem. But how how do you go against a team like Moonlight? Like, uh, I mean, I'd... personally, I, I don't. You... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we don't. Yes. <laughs> But like that's the problem with uh, these teams is uh... oh okay guys oh. tech are banking on the fact that <laughs> the West doesn't practice bins meet enough. Yeah, I I you know I think that might be the line of thinking honestly, and it's it's funny because now we're mirroring uh we're mirroring match one again. Yeah, because it went it went yeah. mon wins me. Uh, this yeah. this has not been decided by randomness, however, so... And yeah, again, this map is good against Kraken. I think it's very good for, for Tent. And uh, with Terra on the Tent, like, this... This is a very, very good uh, Tent option, because the Tent is the kind of uh, weapon that allows you to push mm -hmm. onto the basket no matter what, where Kraken can't. Yes. The, uh... I don't know how it paints very well, but it, uh, it will go over the... The tent shield will go over the grates mm -hmm. and provide you some defense while you're trying to get across, so... It's also one of the few maps where maybe we'd see um, a Snipe Writer, I don't know. But, uh, maybe? Maybe? I mean, we, we need uh, one of these players to, to have it in their pocket, which uh, <laughs> is not a given as well. Okay, here we are. We will Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Basil with the Eater. Uh, meanwhile, Sugi going uh, with the, the ball point. So it's all going to... Okay, no tent. Terra bringing the, the zap for the Tacticulos. And we see still uh, a Kraken she... on the side of uh, Kasuteka. Yeah, and we see Moonlight with the tent, actually. Yeah. Uh, so... And a very good tent for us as well. And that's the vanilla tent, wait! Yeah. And uh, again, like a, a weapon that was considered dead because of a vacuum that's now probably like something you, you should consider shadow did. The vacuum is going to uh, stop things on the side of the sticker. And then uh, now 
Yeah. Oh. Okay, things are happening left and right. It's yeah, now, it, like, it's picks we are, and trades and all that. Yeah, trade after trade after pick. And the uh, both team is just struggling to, to get control, to get plans. But right now, Kasteka is getting the best of it. He's oh. getting a bit more picks than uh, Moonlight is. And Terra is in a position to, to get the push with the Kuda. They, they are now looking, setting their sights on the basket. Getting stopped though, and uh, okay, they they make a super clamp, but they are in no position to push right now. Okay. No, the uh, the kraken got popped already, and while it was able to push uh, moonlight back a little bit, it was not able to. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, oh, very nice. Inkjet, very will. nice inkjet pick by Sugi, like using all of their jet inkjet just to get behind. The, the vacuum and right now Kasteka are in the basket area with the Kraken and the ball point like just getting that space going but, oh, oh but you can't oh no you can't go you, you need to super jump with the super uh, we need to clam, jump with the clam the clam they try to get the clam over the great bridge when do you think someone's going to score <laughs> I mean this game could last eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, Kasteka was so close to just getting a ball in. Um, they, they decided not to. I mean, they tried to, but they, they tried to get the ball through running in instead of jumping in. And I, I guess they wanted like a sustained push. They wanted to make as many points from that push as they, as they could. The more we're getting close to the end of time, yeah, the more the it's less... like you just want to score. Yeah, the more like just getting a Kraken there will be enough to get the win. So right now, like Moonlight has a Super Clamp at the ready, but they don't have a Kraken. Ooh, and pushed a little too far. So yeah. that Power Clam. Oh, well, no, they're looking to save it Ooh, with the yeah, tent. Save it. And now that means they have two power clans and two players out down on the side of Kasteka. Make that three! Moonlight in a great position to push and win the tent. Yep. And the editor right there, that's 40 points for Moonlight. And Moonlight is in such a great position right now. Ooh, they are scoring down so to many points. Down to 18 oh. now. And they're Back still coming to defend them. Oh, what a pick! Nolan! Not I'm getting the triple! And just think so much pain onto Casteca. Right now, Moonlight representing the West and showing Japan that, yeah, you're going to have to do better than that. We, we, we're not completely uh, ignorant to what's going on in this meet. <laughs> yeah, we know how to play this game. And by we, I mean these guys. Yeah, no, not us. Not us, like the, the we of the actual people that are talking, but the we of uh, this collective group that we've decided to let ourselves into. Yep. <laughs> and look at that, the light is looking to attack again. Nolan, you have the vacuum on you. That's just another opening. And right now, Moonlight is in full control. They ha have everything going their way. And we have another kick. Like Kasteka, they need to push and they need to get such a big push right now. And the Kraken is deployed a bit early, that's going to go to the truck, but that's not going to the basket. There will be no Kraken under the basket, and that means Kasteka has to get in the regular way. Oh, and unfortunately they will be trading down on the right. Yep. Sugi making sure to get that power clam and keep it alive. Sugi! Possibly getting it in. Oh no, but it's just a second oh. too late. Oh. Oh. oh, that was almost so clutch. Making it through just hellfire to get to the clam basket. Right. And it was, ah. Uh. That was a long shot, but not seeing it open is, it happens.
it's the game, and uh, right yeah. now, with that frustration, Kastika uh, are just one game away from loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're going to need to pull out the reverse sweep here. Yep. That's, uh, that's going to be a tough one. Like, Moonlight is not relenting. Moonlight he is not impressed by uh, Kasuteka has to offer. They have, have shown dominant in both of these games. Uh, and now Kasuteka, they, they need to go with, uh, with game, game three. They need to, to find a better counter pick because obviously Meet Me was not working. And that's honestly like the power that uh, the Elite uh, and the Tent can have on Minsmith that Moonlight was not ready for. Honestly, it was really full control for, for Moonlight. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, uh, bracket update. Uh, the team that wins this set will go against uh, Guru, another Japanese pickup. I believe it's a Japanese pickup made by Gray. Let me check. Yeah, it's uh, Gray. Gray's Japanese pickup. Hmm. Curious to see what Kasuteka comes out with. Uh, for the counter pick this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really like they need they need to really find a counter to, to what Moonlight has been cooking, and I feel like you you, you want something where you don't want open spaces. I, I, open spaces are going to go Moonlight's way. If you don't have something to contest that range, that elite, you you're in trouble. Jack, do not make me blush. I, I am on stream right now. <laughs> we can hear the blushing through the mic. <laughs> Stop. Let's <laughs> okay, okay. Like, what's uh? I don't know what to say about these teams. They're so good. Like, that's. Kind of a difficulty to to commentate these tournaments that both of these teams, all eight of these players, have such a great understanding of the game and are like competing at a level that's so cool to watch. I am learning every second that I'm watching this, and I can't wait to see it. But I, I would love to tell you what I think. Bell Contabic, I don't know. I I really don't know. But I, I hope they, like, it, it looks like Kasuteka is giving it a very, very long thought, though. So... Like... Okay, more bracket update, I guess. Uh, it looks like uh, Jackbox versus Gojima in the winner. Yeah, so Jackpot beat Gojira 3 2 0. So the Jackpot is going to go against Destiny into the first winner's final. Meanwhile, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Guru beat uh, Robbie and Robber and Friend. So they are going to be. The opponent of whoever wins this set. And uh, we'll wait. We're waiting again. Kasutika is playing like their, their winner's bracket uh, run might end right here if they don't get a map that allows them to really counter what Moonlight is cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very understandable that. Oh, but we have. A decision, it seems. Possibly. Possibly. And it's going to be Manta. Ah. And 
yeah, I mean, with lots of of corners and uh, lots of diversity on this map, if you want to mix things up and uh, get rid of these wide open spaces where Moonlight absolutely strive, that's like, for sure, you need to change things. Santa Maria is changing things. So if you're just uh, joining us, this is a mode cup and the whole point of this tournament is to make tournaments centered around the whole mode. And until this round we were under uh, random maps, we were playing random maps and now we are in the winner's quarter finals and from now on it's uh, the first map is random but then it's counterpick. But yeah, that's like the idea of of this tournament is to make people play one mode and show that you can focus on one mode and uh, find ways to make that one mode work but you have to make it work on every map and there is no complaining about the map and Kasuteka looking to uh, to make Moonlight bleed on Monte Maria mm -hmm. this is match point Oh, heavy deco. The deco is coming from uh, Sugi Sugi, like done with a ball point and uh, electing to be the Kraken of the team this time. Meanwhile, Basil is switching uh, back to the ball point and uh, looking to, to get some uh, interesting. Indeed. Ooh, Sugi trying to set up on the grades but being punished for it. And. Ooh, that'll be two down for Kazuteka. And Moonlight is on fire again and looking to attack. The Kraken is deployed. The Super Clan is ready. That's going to be. Oh, no! The Zap is defeated before getting the jump. Like, Kazuteka managing to sneak that push in the bird with that peak on the Super Clan. And right now. He's the one able to escape. Yeah, right now it's Kasuteka looking to push. That's going to be stopped right away. Shadow ending that. And like, we have a back and forth. Both teams almost getting a super clamp into the basket, but in the end, not a single point was called. No. Oh. Backlines uh, fighting each other, and Hazel going down. And you see. The power clam getting through the crack and trying to get there in time, just not quite making it. <laughs> that was a fun trade. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know how the Kraken did not uh, hit the, the hammer, but uh, then they get a trade. Okay, like, yeah, fine. <laughs> Splatoon is a game. Yes, Splatoon is a game, and right now. Moonlight with the smallest lead, looking to maybe uh, extend that, but uh, not going to match. Okay, that's going to be the trade. But that's a trade on the back line, that's going to be in uh, much more space uh, for Moonlight as well. Moran is the Kraken. Like, Kraken is going to be the special of the day. Indeed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good one for Clams. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that will be the basket opening Ooh. back up. Yeah, Terra and this is a clam and has to be dangerous oh. push. Yeah, very very big push, and Nolan and Shadow are still in their Shadow to looking to go pick up some clams. Mega getting in, back basket is gonna close though, and uh, okay, still picks after picks. Kasuteka mm -hmm. are still alive in there, but they need points, and we have just two minutes left. Yeah, we see uh, the gal here trying to s set up some positioning on the right. And we're looking to try and maybe Oops. set up some crack and cheese here. Yep. This could be a huge push. Two balls are going in. Kasteka finally with some points on the board in this game. Terra looking to extend that is uh, under a sword by the Inkjet. That push is going to be stopped, and Kasteka, they scored some points. They didn't score enough points, and in that... They, they're on the board. 
they are yeah, on the board and game. And if they manage to repeat that, they'll get the lead. So, Indeed. Hanging Bell, like, it's a push. If a push they can do, they could get the lead. But right now, they don't have that many chances, even if the numbers are in their advantage. Yeah, they... Uh, oh, well, there's some popping up right behind Terra there, and now yep. they've got the they've got clam made. Okay, now doing a very good job getting those clams, coming yep. in with the Kraken. Lots Likely of clams, to try and... Kraken oh, but oh, oh, one of the powers oh. going down. Yeah, that's, that's how you stop the Kraken push. <laughs> you shoot them before they super jump in, and right now there is no push for Kassiteka. Kassiteka just used like, their Kraken and so much position and plans to have that ready. Moonlight completely destroyed these hopes. 30 seconds left, and Kassiteka has a, a super clam, but just one super clam, and they need to mount another push. They need, uh, I guess, another Kraken, and uh, finally get these uh, jumps in. They do have the Kraken ready. Oh, and here it goes. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's a Moonlight oh, with the Kraken oh, ready. It's... it's a Moonlight with all the Super Clans, and that's a lot Ouch. of Clans in just one Clan. They don't have the Clan. <laughs> it's, it's going to be the push, and that's how Overtime starts. That's an extra Super Clan for Kastika. But Kastika, they need a KO in Overtime. And <laughs> Moonlight, they just need to defend. Sugi is in Kraken, it's just Sugi in Kraken. That's that's normal clans for Kassiteka, that's the game, that's the set. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh. not not able to get enough in. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, I, 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 I saw the Kraken pop and I'm like, wait, I don't see... I, I don't see that right because the, the Kraken pop was on the other team. <laughs> Good showing from Moonlight. Very good showing from I, Moonlight. I'd call it an upset because we didn't expect that. But it's not an upset. It's a statement. The <laughs> Moonlight. Like, remember that name. Okay, you're a team. You're the real deal. And I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a team. I will not <laughs> forget you are a team. And every time I see you in a tournament, I will know that you will go the distance. Congratulations to Moonlight, they are advancing in winner's semis. Very nicely done. That was great, and we will see more awesome Clablis action so soon, right after this short break, don't go anywhere. 